Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking. If everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes, remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. It seems like Maurice got his little ego crushed, and I was here for it about him getting his ego crushed. Um, But, um, I wasn't here for... I'm not here for him. I'm going to play the clip and come back and give my opinion. If you initiated, I would think that you wanted it. Mm -hmm. How many times have I initiated it since July? I'd say probably 50% of the time. I have got... <laughs> oh, 50% of the time. With your ego crust? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Good, you needed it. Um, you really thought you was doing something, and all the while you might as well had it just been messing with the pillow. Anyway, Kimmy, don't feel bad because I would suspect anyone with your illness. Um, will lose, you know, will lose their sex drive at some point. I mean, let's be real. If you can lose your hair, your appetite, your colorization, um, coloration of your skin, it's not a far fetch to say your sex drive is, um, it's not going to stick around. It seems to me you're doing good just to be able to participate. But Maurice to me is... He's a typical ninja, only thinking about himself. But Kimmy, I have to ask, are you desperate to have a husband or are you scared that Maurice will leave you? But if you are, trust me, Maurice ain't, he not going nowhere. Maurice isn't going anywhere. You have elevated Maurice's status Far more than any other woman would put up with because Maurice is a clown in my opinion. It seems like to me, in my opinion, that Maurice is doing you the same way that Martel did Melody. Push you to stop um, being a nurse and going to being an entrepreneur into real estate. Basically what he wants you to be. And... He pushed you into raising his son while he run the streets, allegedly. And, you know, thank goodness that you already had a house before marrying him or you probably will be living like the Scots 1.0, still trying to 
build a bedrock full of dirt. But anyway, <laughs> it seems like with all you dealing with, and you still feel the need to worry about Maurice's sex needs. Lady, if you don't take care of yourself and get you some and go to sleep, get you some rest. It's it's like it's funny how he won't let you have a party to celebrate your milestones of ringing the bell, but he'll allow you to cook and clean for him and his son. And he don't care about your health because why is it now all of a sudden that y'all speaking about this? Um, you know, you faking. I don't understand it. He should have been trying to have this conversation with you. It's like he's never once asked you how you felt or are you sure you can handle it? He didn't even, um, he could have did you like he did you for your party. Tell you, you okay, we got to cut back because I don't want you to be overwhelmed. You can't go, you can't have a party where you can potentially just sit there and, you know, let the people be around you and celebrate you. You don't have to dance or if you do dance or if you did dance, you know, when your body is tired, you can sit down at any moment, but you can't just cop out like you in a wrestling match with, you know, when somebody's up on you or whatever, because I mean, well, you probably wouldn't, but anyway, it seems like as long as you please in him, it's okay. It's when you're trying to please yourself that he has a problem with. He didn't even know that you were faking it. Which should tell you that your needs aren't important. Kimmy, you may need to tune in to some of Melody Lives when she giving out some of that motivation. I mean, she giving you connects in other ways. But maybe you need to uh, tune into a couple of her lives so you can get some of that self motivation and use some for yourself. Because I'm not, I'm not saying that you should leave your marriage or anything like that. But I am saying if you're not, if you're no good to your, uh, if you're no good to yourself or no good for yourself, then you are truly no good to anyone else. And now I'm just talking out loud, stating my opinion. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.